Hey everybody, how we doing today? So, I want to announce and also thank you guys for a huge milestone that uh, the AllAboutDebate.com uh, store has hit and that's $100,000 in sales in six months. <laughs> um, I didn't think people were quite understanding of the problems that I was having in regards to uh, keeping in stock of product or buying enough product. And uh, that's why I was constantly complaining, $100,000. Uh, basically, that's around, I think around 3,100 transactions of me stuffing bags and printing labels and driving them down to the post office in six months. Uh, it's just incredible. But I just kind of wanted to sh just share that with you to know that without you guys, I mean, it would just it wouldn't be there. Exactly, basically the point. If I didn't get the support from you guys, this wouldn't happen at all. Um, I also want to extend a huge thank you uh, to my Patreon supporters. Uh, since the beginning, since I think I started it in the middle in September during Hurricane Irma, so a little over a year ago, and I had a huge outpouring of help for people that are just wanting to uh, support the channel during that uh, hurricane recovery time frame when really couldn't go out fishing, couldn't produce videos or anything. And it, it basically, I figured, oh, it would just go. And then after a month or two, once I started doing videos again, it would drop off because, and I would have been fine with it. I was good, but it didn't. It stayed and then it grew. Okay. And I was like, wow. And uh, I'm pretty frugal on my, uh, equipment. I mean, I'm not one of those uh, name brand foo-foo guys that needs all the stickers and stuff. I just, as long as it works, that's all I need. Cheaper the better. So a lot of that money I didn't utilize. So instead of just like, woohoo, uh, hookers and coke, I went and invested it into the company by buying more product. And uh, so thank you guys for that support every month. It's another chunk of investment into the all about the bait store so basically you guys own a part of it as well uh company wise a little bit of history i mean we just i just opened the store on uh april 1st of 2018 uh if you weren't aware of that and uh it all started with just this shirt one shirt that was it um jeff the designer and i um i actually had uh Jeff had contacted me years earlier, a couple years earlier, and did my header for my main YouTube page. And then I said, thank you, and that was it. But every time I talk to people a lot, I get tons of offers to do stuff, but I don't necessarily do anything with them, but I do remember them and uh, just keep that in file. And with him, I knew uh, by looking at his work that he's done in the past, it fit really well. Plus he was a kayak fisherman, so he knew what it was. Plus he's visited the Keys and fished down here, so he knew all the parts of it. And I kind of meshed with his kind of uh, lower key uh, designs, nothing super crazy or anything about him that kind of fit my style. But uh, we basically got together. I had a, a, an idea of what I wanted for the first shirt and I needed that first shirt, which is this one, not only to kick off the start, which was basically just kick off the start of the company as my first product, but I also needed it to set up for the trademark for All About the Bait to have sales history. And I wanted something fairly quickly since I'd gotten the websites, the mail addresses set up, all the peripherals, the business licensings and tax licensings and all that stuff set up. I wanted to make sure I nailed down the company name so it didn't get stripped out. So we, this was going to be my first rollout um, after quite a few back and forth to finally get him to understand the, the principle to it. We finally got it, uh, took it to Coconut Inc. Um, I think I ran 50 to 60 on that first run, whatever their first price break was because that's basically was a thousand dollars. Um, and I was just like, well, here's thousand dollars worth of shirts that I don't know if even anybody's going to like or want or whatnot. And I remember spending, I was up until probably six, seven o'clock in the morning, all night, just working on the website, getting it all loaded and correct and working. Um, figuring out all the, uh, finalizing all the shipping stuff, how that works. And then, um, basically folding all the shirts and just getting everything ready, exhausted, went to sleep about six or seven, the sun was already up. And then probably, I think I let it release about 10 o'clock. And then at 10 o'clock, all I remember was ding, 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 
ding, ding, ding, ding, ding. My phone just ding, ding, ding. And I think we sold out by noon, if that. And I think it was the first hour, like majority of it was gone. And then I just had the smalls and some two or three XLs, just peripheral ones. And then, then it slowed down to tink, 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 to the point by noon, even the final tink was done. And I was like, holy crap, we got problems, but good problems. And that was the beginning of, I can't get enough merchandise to support all this. So after that was a hundred and after that 200 and then adding the adding adding to the point now where if you look at the website and I, I ask you to do that check it out to see and understand that it started with just one shirt that was all that's on that website to what it is now all in six months and i did it based on this one shirt but also i zero debted it okay i basically utilized the patreon money was always a big help but i sold one and then allowed me to buy two. And that's what I did. I've been pumping it in. This month, I, I probably dropped about 15 grand on uh, credit and I'm probably half the way paid off already. So by the end of the month, maybe into the beginning of the year, I'll pay that all off. And then I've got, I'm so well in stock, super happy that was the main principle is not just survive Christmas, but to have everything in stock through January, which is my peak season, um, which will go through f March, which because we're in Key West and we have the snowbirds, people coming down for the winter time, that's actually busier than Christmas. So that's why I didn't, I wanna make sure I didn't just have enough and cover Christmas and then be sold out for two months while I'm trying to replenish. I have enough stuff now, I have tons of stuff. I actually added just a week ago, four new uh, four tiered racks, the plastic racks, uh, that makes a total of 16 racks, plastic four and five tiered shelf racks. Plus I have a full wall. If you ever saw my hat video of four walls, I mean a one wall of four shelves, I think it's 18 foot long shelves full of hats. Um, and my one bedroom cottage. So 16, but well, basically 20 racks in my one bedroom apartment and I'm just full of merchandise and just keep pumping it out and it's still not enough. But uh, here and there, that's just a little background of the company. The really all I just want to do is come on and just say a huge thank you to you guys for all your support. Even if you haven't bought anything and you just checked out the uh, website, that helps as well. It's social media. The more footsteps you get into your site is the better history you have and the more support you get by these companies. So even that, you haven't bought anything, I appreciate that. But those that have, ha that have, super appreciative for you guys. I hope you enjoy the product. I mean, it means a lot to me. Everything, everything, I'm not outsourcing anything. Everything is created by me and Jeff, built by me and uh, whatever local company here. It's all housed here. I folded every shirt. I've packaged every package. I've driven every package to the post office they love and hate me but uh yeah that's awesome so thank you guys very much now before i let you guys go um i do a, i did a big playlist of videos on helping other youtube fishing channels improve their channels and get more views and subscribers and so forth i've done a couple on the all about the bait store and i will be doing quite a bit more a little bit later as i get free time but one of the key factors that I always keep pushing and I always keep telling people when they uh, ask me for advice about this stuff, and that is always be hustling. I always say that always be hustling. And all that means is just, you just gotta, you just gotta keep moving forward, clawing at it one step at a time, even if it's just micro improvements, it still makes a difference. Um, I never emphasize the, oh, superstar overnighters that YouTube blesses or the, the business world blesses and all of a sudden they're just a massive explosiveness overnight, okay? Me, it's just every day, grind it, grind it, grind it, knowing that once I get to a certain level, I'll see some improvements, keep grinding after that, okay? Always be hustling. So in that regards, some top Christmas gifts because the shipping cutoff for mainland US is December 20th to get it for before Christmas, all right? So I think Thursday, 
Got to have orders in before Thursday in order to get it for Christmas. And I've got some key items I want to throw at you. Now, all my stuff is great gifts, but these I kind of picked out as just good, quickie, nice and easy and cheap, okay? My first one I recommend everyone have for regardless of who you want to buy for is these. These are the face masks, the uh, face buffs, neck buffs, fishing buffs, but they're not like that. Everybody I've ever given one of these to have loved these things, okay? Even non-fishermen, non-outdoors people, these are such a useful component in regards to just winter time, an extra layer around the neck instead of a big scarf. Face mask, you're walking out in the cold air, uh, just being able to pop that on there. The extra sun covering, the ladies love it with the long hairs for the, like making the ponytail. They're very colorful. They're very neat. Okay. And they're great stock stocking stuffers. They come in these little prepaid, uh, pre-made cell phone packs. So they pack real easy. Perfect. I've also got these. These are another one good for everybody who doesn't like a nice little bit of artwork. Shows that you've got a little bit of culture, <laughs> even though you might be a grungy old fisherman like me. But I've, I've actually this, just got this one. This is the Sloppy Joes here in Key West. But I've got about 20 or 30 different pictures there that just kind of exemplify the, uh, the keys. They come in a nice envelope. Uh, I finally got those in. So you could just plastic the sticker over my sticker and just ship it off and you're golden. And third, another cheap one is, boom, the Booney uh, back neck flat cast, flap hat. All right, these are my famous, I'm known for and wearing on the water. Uh, the last few videos, I've been kind of promoting the new uh, mullet hat. I can't stand fishing with the baseball hats. I can't stand it, okay? They are horrible, okay? Sure, you, you look a lot cooler, okay, when you're making videos, I guess, or if you're coming into the dock and you want to look cool. But when you're out there and you're looking in the, in the sun and you're looking for bait, you're looking for fish, they're horrible. The sun direction's bouncing off. I'm, I have to, I'm like this every time I wear the baseball hats, trying to find bait. It's horrible. These are so good, okay? No, they're not the coolest thing to be wearing. But like I tell people, you wear this in the car, like I do. I wear this when I'm driving around and around town. But when I get on my kayak, boom, this is it. If I forget this, I go back to the car to get this because it's so important for that, that visibility on everything. And it's 10 bucks, free shipping, can't beat it. So uh, anyways, got 10 bucks. I think I've got these starting at 15 to 20, $25, 20 bucks, 25 for the different sizes. And these are $5 or you can get them as cheap as $4 each if you buy five of them for 20, all right? bunch of stocking stuffers. The kids love these things. Anybody outdoorsy will love these. And people that like the colorful stuff to wear, it really works out as well. So those are my quickie gifts for suggestions. Always be hustling. And that's about it. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we're off to a million. And I'm preparing for that. I've got a lot of stuff coming. I got one more batch of new stuff coming in before the end of the year. Actually, I'm waiting for it now. And then I'm done for the year. And then next year's I got some initiatives that I'm gonna be rolling out to help us get us to that million. So anyways, thanks for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for buying any product. Thank you for checking out the website. Bye, I'll see you next video.